What's good, people? What's popping? This is Team Money here. I'm back again with another video. Oh, man. If I hear somebody complaining about my accent again, we're going to have a problem because I'm tired of hearing this. But like, you were wrong. You were wrong. I don't know what to say now. Okay. So let me talk about this, you know, and I feel like, I don't know. I, I don't want to say it's an obsession. I already made a video about McG. Mara, like, when I learned one cool thing about this interview that McG just had a few days ago with JJ Tavan, and people are mad. People, it got everybody mad. And I'm like, why? Leave McG alone, guys. alone. Just leave him alone and let him do his job. It's one thing that you guys don't understand about journalism, okay? I don't know if McG studied journalism or if McG did some sort of like a, a training when it comes to the media, but there's one thing that you guys are missing, and that is why most of your platforms are failing, okay? And most platforms are actually learning a lot from him. I mean, and I'm talking about like big platform, I'm talking about channel O, they wanted to work with him. Everybody actually wanted to work with him because why he is a very genuine person and then he talks his mind. And that's one thing that you guys don't understand. If you guys follow McG and if you guys have been chillers like I am, you guys know what goes down in a chilling session. You guys know exactly what goes down in the podcast and chill. So, I don't understand, Hurina, what do you guys think? Why do you guys think he is more special than any other guests that have been there? Natasha has been exposed on the show. No, I'm wrong. Actually, she exposed herself on the show. Why? Meji did not force her to say anything that she did not want to say. Jujub -Ju exposed himself on the show. It's a lot of people that expose themselves on that show, and you guys cannot blame McG for asking questions, okay? This is ridiculous right now. It's just becoming really, really ridiculous right now. That's why most of your platforms are not even uh, productive, because you guys are afraid to, to, to speak to these leaders, okay? If you come on a podcast, you know that anything might light up. People are saying that he was wrong for asking JJ uh, when was the last time he used the condom, yet he's married. It was part of the conversation, podcast and chill. That's where people come and talk about themselves. And he had mentioned it a long time ago that when he invites people to come for the interview, people actually become themselves. Don't look at yourself as a celebrity. Look at yourself. Take yourself as somebody that's on everybody's level. Take yourself as a human being. Right here, we're having conversation. We're not talking about whatever. We know you have you, you Dr. Mamang, you have your masters you have your doctorates you have whatever you have but here we're gonna have a conversation you're gonna tell us well now when was the last time you used a fucking condom i don't see anything wrong about that and you guys have audacity to compare this situation with ari lennox even though he apologized i felt like he was not supposed to apologize he did nothing wrong he asked this lady about her lyrics what well, that was her song what are we doing like are we just singing what we put on our lyrics is not what we meant if you know that you're not going to take fire, don't come to the interview. A lot of people got mad. A lot of people are mad. Okay? A lot of people are mad. But the interview was fire. Okay? I'm not going to lie. That interview was really, really fire. Okay? Everybody's talking about it. And I just kind of like how they kind of address the politics and they address uh, a lot of things. Poverty and all other things that are really, really important that actually I was looking forward to to hear what he had to say about uh, everything that is happening in South Africa. It's just a lot going on in South Africa right now. And I feel like it's high time for people like McG to have a conversation with these leaders. You know, everybody should come, come forward. And he's actually doing a good job inviting all these affluent and people in high places to explain to the world. And how about that? It everybody's getting mad. Like, why, why, why are we getting mad? Like, isn't it what we wanted to hear? Like, it's not always gonna be pitches and cream during the interview. Come on, like, just cut this guy a break. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Just go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you don't mind, and also like the video. I gotta go now. Peace out.